lowered in value a little bit. higher here where I'm sitting That's where I'm sitting whoa yeah they're a lot higher there higher there where I'm sitting move them back over here lower a little bit lower there but still very fast still pulls very fast back over here I'm sitting they go back up is that an accident that the readings are higher near my body? And I move it further away from me. Back on there. Pass it up and sit on there. What about? What about I never sit over here? What about over here? No, it's still quite high over there. A walk over here. Uh, have a walk into the hall. This is the hall. They're still present in the hall. What about the kitchen? Let's have a look in the kitchen. Yep, still present in the kitchen. And there's a kitchen window. Let's have a look in the living room. If it's still present in the living room. And just for the record, today is November the 25th, 2018. And the time is half past four in the evening, UK time. Okay, so let's have a look in the living room. Put the light on. Yep, they're still here. They're still here in the living room. What about in the chair where I sit in the living room? Here's a chair. So if you're sitting in the chair, your head would be about here, and this is what you'd be subjected to. So we have that here in the chair, and we have that, let's have a look, see what the, so if you're sitting in this chair, are you sitting in this chair? Yeah. You still got them. You still got them. The microwaves in this chair as well. Okay. And uh, now, what about if you're taking a shower? Let's have a look. We'll go into the bathroom. Here's the bathroom. Yep. Let's have a look. Yeah. So when you're in the shower, the shower there. Yep. Yeah. You're still going to get the microwaves, the pulsed microwaves, in the shower. Um. Low level pulsed microwave, like these ones. Let's have a look in the hall. Here you got the door, you see? Yeah, you got the door and things, you, you're in the hall. Yeah. You still got them here in the hall. So there's no escaping them. I try some experiments with this. Okay, this is an experiment with <laughs> this. <laughs> right, let's look here. Okay, let's... Um, it's in exactly the same place there. See if we can get an average, if, if it's possible. Going very, very fast. Right. Put this there. Uh, The 
it seems to have dropped into lower figures. What did we have before? Let's have a look. Ten, thirteen, nine, seven, twelve, nine, eight, ten, twelve, ten, nine, fourteen, seven, nine, ten, twelve. Um, same place. Four, six, two, four, three, five, six, nine, seven, two, five, three. Five, four. So it does seem to be reducing the. No, I don't say amplitude, but it's reducing the amount, not the speed. Right. Okay. One moment. A bit more. Let's see what we have now. Five, six, three, seven, six. Doesn't seem to have reduced it too much. Ten, five, eight, nine, eight, six. How about do this? Seems to have reduced it a wee bit. No, not really any effect. So, if you have that, and that is where it detects there, that is the detector there, and you are placing that in the way. How about... Oh, cover it over. Hmm. Still getting in. That's interesting. It must be very, very strange. It's still quite high value. This is like a kind of a little tunnel, but it's still doing its thing, but the values have lowered quite a lot. This is like a kind of a little, little tunnel that I've made for it. <laughs> You can see how difficult it is to shield from these things. Well, they're back low again, so was that a trick? Oh no, they're coming back up higher again now. Yeah. They're back to the low ones now, even though there is no protection around the The device. Knowing, I wondered what these things were, and I'd looked into it, and they're not from making a phone call because you get the red light comes on when you make a phone call. You have this near your phone. If you go on the internet when you're loading a page, the red light comes on, which means it's very high. Um, at least on my phone. Um, what I know about pulsed microwaves at this low level is that they are used in mind control and they work by everything is electromagnetic in that the electrons that make up atoms in every single cell of your body are influenced by the very, very tiniest electrical currents. To put it very, very, very simply, they have discovered that the how you think and thoughts and words can be influenced. Um, it's more complicated than this, but by altering the electrical... Um, frequency, the rate of vibration even slightly of these electrons within these atoms um, and proteins that they can 
change not only thought, but they can change how the body works and influence its systems. That is a very simplified um, description of how pulsed microwaves and the information on pulsed microwaves is that they don't have to be particularly high amplitude. They uh, very, very low because of um, the electrical activity is very low that is required to make a change. I'm, I'm being greatly simplified, you know, with this. The amount of energy into that is registered when um, the, the body makes some kind of change, either metabolic or a thought, it is it is very low energy and it only requires a very low energy force in the form of microwaves that to interfere with that um it goes back to the old knowledge that everything is connected and it is electrically electromagnetically so this is how pulse microwaves work even at this extremely low level no they probably won't kill you quickly at least but they are influencing cellular function. And this isn't just some harebrain. This is it's science. Anybody who knows chemistry, anybody who, and I'm talking about all level chemistry, GCSE chemistry. I'm not talking about degree level. You don't need a degree in chemistry to understand this. You just need to know how electrical exchanges work and atoms and valency and how environment and ele electrical things and affect cells and that is enough to be able to read and understand the literature that has been written on pulsed microwaves and how they are used to control physiology to heal and also to harm and how long term they can influence and change personality and thinking um, I'm not saying they can so I'm saying they can. I'm not saying they will. Yeah. Um, but there's I can't. And I am a tagged individual. I am having lots of other things which add up to being a tagged individual, um, including psychological torture, severe physical burning with directed energy weapons, gang stalking, you name it. Oh, you have to look at my other videos. Um, I've tried to give some information on things that I've found out about how some of these things are done. And I do recommend, this is a microwave detector, it's a very good one, it, it's 99% it's accurate. Um, that's the make and model of it, yeah. And um, it, it comes with very clear instructions. And it is well worth the money if you suspect that you are a victim of this technology because once you know that this is here, you can work out how to um, shield it, presumably. Um, there's plenty of information on shielding. I don't think it's a good idea to advertise any shielding that you found that's successful on here, maybe in a book or maybe in another form, because obviously the enemies will use whatever they can to try and overcome it. I'm just demonstrating here that this isn't really sufficient, and it is several layers, you know. Um, like the, the smallest gap, and the, the actual microwaves are still getting into this part of the detector. So the direction that these waves are coming from is difficult to identify. Okay, uh, thank you. God bless.